All right, this really isn't a section. This is uh, a little demonstration playing off of the previous section, potential energy of, uh, of a system. And we're going to go back, and you've seen Walter Fenton before. We're going to use one of his uh, experiments. Uh, let's, uh, where is the, um, there's Firefox. All right, uh, the spring potential, uh, it, this is a spring pendulum. Uh, so if we if we start this um, pendulum going uh, right now, it's going in slow motion. But if we put it in in its regular position, you can see mainly what I want to show you from this is the change of kinetic energy and potential energy. The total energy, if you look at the bottom of the screen, it may be small for you to see, but the total energy is 0 0.025. Uh, joules, 0 0.025 joules, it never changes. The total energy is uh, the same throughout. Now, uh, let's, let's reset it and let's start it again, but this time in slow motion. You'll see right now with the, uh, I haven't started yet, right now the uh, pendulum bob is at its highest um, at its maximum height, so it's all potential energy. As it goes through, what type of energy? Gravitational potential energy. There may be some energy from just the, uh, the spring compressing, but it's mainly gravitational potential energy. So if we start it, uh, it's gonna very slowly, because we're in slow motion, the, it's losing potential energy and it's changing to kinetic energy, and the kinetic energy is max, when it goes through the zero crossing. Now it's elongating the spring and it's going to potential energy again, but this time it's spring potential energy. As we've elongated the spring, the spring is wanting to pull back and it's spring potential energy. It goes through the zero crossing again, uh, through max kinetic energy, and now it goes to gravitational potential energy. And you can see that the, uh, Whenever it goes through the zero crossing, it's all this lavender color. It's all kinetic energy. And whenever it gets to either extreme, it's all potential energy. Now, I'd like you to play with this. As a matter of fact, I've got an assignment for you to play with it. You can, you can um, play with the, the spring constant, the mass, the gravitational acceleration. Well, you can leave that one alone. Uh, we normally use 9.8. Uh, they're using 9.81. Um, the amplitude, the max amplitude. Now all of these have limits uh, to them, and I'll post that in the assignment. But you can look at you can look at the uh, elongation. That's the uh, let's let's take it out of slow motion. You can see the little orange is uh, the elongation. The purple, uh, the lavender, whatever it is here, it's the velocity. Um, the acceleration. You can see as it gets, uh, the acceleration is zero as it goes through the zero crossing and it's maximum when it gets to either end point. And then the same with the force. Remember, force equals mass times acceleration. So the uh, force is a, a vector, acceleration is a vector, mass is just a scalar. So the mass times acceleration is just a scalar multiplier uh, that, of, of acceleration that gives you a force. You, get a, you start with a vector, you get a vector. Um, so if you go back between ex acceleration and force, you'll see that they're always in the same direction. Uh, and then the energy is what I started off showing you. So your assignment is to, to um, change the, these values within the range, and I show you the range that are acceptable, uh, and, and turn in the, the paper. You can e either turn it in. Uh, I don't remember if I have you submitted electronically or on paper, either one, uh, just get it done. All right, uh, let's stop the share.